All right, hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro. Uh, so here we got our Sheena boys fighting with the Interior Ministry. We want to take out the Ministry gun guys. Really? Okay, whatever. Yeah, shut up. I don't care about Dragon Rock. The drunk mob can die. I don't I don't give a damn. Okay. So something we can do though, instead of healing with our gourd, we can sort of take advantage of our sad Akina boys here. And death blow, blow them to get our health back. Just to give ourselves one more gourd. Sad times. Okay, and if we want to, we can go reactivate this sculptor idol. It might actually be helpful. It might save us some time. But don't rest at it right now. bad at using this today. Okay, we want to take this bell guy and Shove his gong up his ass. I don't know how he didn't alert the fat guy, but he didn't alert the fat guy. So we want to switch to the spear for the fat guy. We may want to go ahead and... I don't know. Um... Fuck it, I'll, I'll use like a, an Akko Sugar. It doesn't matter. Notice he's got a red interior ministry plate on him. Ow. 
But other than that, he's pretty much just like all the other fat guys. Oh, never mind. He breathes fire instead of poison. Makes sense, I guess. But he's he ain't shit once you pull his his uh his thing off, so Yeah, yeah. And now he is gone forever. And it's a good thing. And here's another Ashina guy you could use to death blow your health back up. Now then. Fulminated Mercury! Alright! And I believe that these guys can also drop Fulminated Mercury. But I don't really remember how it works. Like which one in particular does it? If it's the lava cannon guy, or if it's any of the gun guys, or... Alright, yeah, it's the lava cannon guys. More fulminated mercury. Excellent. Fistful of ash. Pellets. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's see here. Rooftops are on fire now, so you gotta be a little bit careful. Everything's got the symbol of the Interior Ministry on it. They got cannons now. We could rest here, but nah, not yet. And, um, I guess, I guess we could grab some skill, though. Not one that would be particularly useful, because I don't think, yeah, like, devotion would be nice to have, but I guess most virtuous deed for maximum item drop rate would be what we want to take right now, just so that, uh, we can maybe get some more fulminated mercury as we go along. And Anayama's shop is on fire. What became of Anayama? Hmm. What became of Anayama? Well, I guess he's just dead now or something. If you actually complete his quest line by sending him Kotaro though, um, he will be next to that cook pot. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's just dead at his store. Sad times. It was kind of hard to see his body the first time, I guess. But if you finish his quest line, uh, he'll be here next to this cook pot or whatever. Which I think will be slightly less on fire. And Kotaro will be dead right here. And he gives you a an item that makes everything cost um, one less sin or something like that. It's a permissory note. Or permissory note, however you want to say it.
Ah, son of a bitch. Hey, this memorial mob is still here. Yeah, and all the memorial mob guys have to sell you divine confetti. And I guess if for some reason you didn't buy the firecrackers yet, you could buy them. So, that's nice. But now we have all these towers. And they've got interior ministry gun guys in them. Oh look, there's just a there's a chain to ogre that's just like he's he's a regular enemy now. And you could puppeteer him if you wanted. That but still was supposed to be good. I guess you can carry that, it's a thrust attack or something? I don't know how to fight these ministry guys. Ow. More fulminated mercury. But yeah. This is like, I guess, the best place in the game to farm skill points. You know, you just run run the gauntlet a few times, kill all these guys, they give like 1,200 to pop or whatever. And they drop, they have the highest chance to drop Fulminated Mercury, so. Man, what happened here? Look like some fucking Wolverine claws. Everything was burning. The fires raging out of control. Howling. It was intense. And he died. Well. By commuting with this sculptor's idol, we get warped. And where do we get warped? Well, to another sculptor's idol. Looks like the battlefield at the front gate of, gate of Ashina Castle. And we could, we could try to go fight that thing right now. But, 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 but. Uh, how about we go to the Ashina Reservoir instead? 
you know, like... Like the other way, like we were supposed to, I guess. Um, and I guess the best place to go would... I, I don't know. I don't know. So go back here. Because we got prep. Prep we want to do now. Because there's two more bosses left in the game. One of them is optional and one of them is not. Uh, but the optional boss will give us, I think it's... It might be two, but I think it's three. Lapis Lazuli. And uh, that should move us up to six or seven Lapis Lazuli. So you can make you can make two Lazuli or, or Lazulite um, prosthetic upgrades per playthrough. But you'll have to do New Game Plus if you want every single prosthetic. Which I think I've mentioned several times now. But, uh, yeah, let's... Let's just go down the, uh... You know, the quick way. Towards these flames. Let's see our Ashina boys. Fighting along there. And, uh... You're, th you're welcome, my shit boy. Ow. Or you could just kill me. I'm sure, I, I killed the guy you were fighting to the death with, but... Yeah, you know what? Actually, screw that. Okay. Let's rest. We need our revivals. And now, let us switch over to Blood Smoke. Um, I'm not sure what I would want to use against this guy. I guess maybe the Phantom Kunai's, and maybe the Flame Vent, and maybe the Firecrackers. I don't know. But, uh, kill them all. I did. Good. We will begin when Lord Luther overturns. We will revive Arsena together with the dragon smoke. Yeah. Ah, uh, they still believe in Ganesha rule. But we don't want to fight them right now. We want to, uh, we want to run away. We do not want to deal with them just yet. We want to fall off cliffs. Okay. But now, now, the last point of Kachin anything, really, in this game is sneaky, sneaky, beaky, beaky. And. We will just. Well, not exactly what I intended to do, but okay. See, I meant to kill the, uh... Now... And in fact, d mulligan. Mull let's mulligan that. Let's just... Oh, uh, well, not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. That works too. I really hate when the grapple points don't pick up on your L2. But that's probably one of the worst things about this game. But, um... Yeah. Anywho, now that I've lost a whole ton of money. I just want to leave them alone. Remember this bridge from the very beginning of the game? 
I remember this bridge from the very beginning of the game. Remember this door from the very beginning of the game? And how this sculptor's idol was here the whole time, it just didn't have a blue flame over its head for whatever reason? Well, we want to go ahead and rest here. And that should reset, reset them to their default position. And what I want to do, what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to kill the samurai, the, the one with the katana, because he's in the way. And you could puppeteer him, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to blood smoke him off of him and try to fade back into the shadows because these two guys are standing back to back. And quite frankly, at this point, the samurai guy is challenging enough as is to uh, to warrant, you know, just complete and total elimination. And you don't really have to use blood smoke, but I figure, eh. Eh. We want to get a stealth blow on this spear guy, so... Like... Eh. I might sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I tried to turn the mic away. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Now his default position is with his back turned, because he was relying on that samurai guy to watch his back. He's exactly the same as the Seven Spears guy we fought way earlier in the game. So it really helps to be able to Makiri. And he's done. And that's the final prayer bead in the game. Yeah, the Seven Spears of Ashino were pivotal on Ishin's coup. He awarded the lance to none but his most loyal samurai. Yet now, only a few of the seven remain. It's kind of funny because the spear is actually the samurai's uh, battle weapon of choice in real life. Like, on the battlefield, they used spears. Uh, the katana was, like, all for showmanship and self-defense in close quarters. And, uh, I mean, like, it's not like they never use katanas on the battlefield, but, like, it was not their primary weapon, so. They, they actually use bows and spears. But th those aren't as romanticized as katanas, so it's kind of whatever. Anywho. So that's maximum health and posture. Very useful, very useful, especially for someone like me. Who's not, you know, like, I'm decent at the game, but I'm not, like, some Sekiro, like, god or Sekiro king or Sekiro, like, prince or whatever. 
Some people got so obsessed and turned on by this game's combat system after they got good at it that they just started playing through the game over and over and over until they did like, I took no damage. I you know I took, I I I beat the game with taking no damage and never upgrading my attack power and never upgrading my my posture gauge or whatever. So like, it's pretty ridiculous. But now that we got that fulminated mercury. Hey, hey. Okay, we'll go sell, we'll go sell our stuff, and have enough money. Any more business? Yep, I need to sell you money. You don't have to sell them money. You can you can just use them. But uh, until next time. Okay, let's see. Upgrade prosthetic, buy the sin throw. Ah, uh, we need 3,000. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I should have I should have looked at the sin prices. The money throw one is actually really good, but you need to be rich. And it, it consumes your money when you do it, so, like, it's a mixed bag. Let's just sell all this ongos, let's sell all this gocons. Um, I don't really ever intend to use red lumps, but um, hmm. guess we could sell the snap seeds. We don't really need those, and we could sell the antidote powder. I guess. Until next. Okay, finally, we're gonna go get a, a Lazulite upgrade here. Yay, Lazulite Shurikens! And in order to get the Sabi Maru, um, which is all that we have Lazulite, uh, well, we might when we beat the next boss, right? We can, we can, um, we'll get more Lapis Lazulis. So yeah, but. For now, these are the best Shuriken in the game. They penetrate defense. They're really fast, so they're hard to dodge. You can spin them just like the other ones, and they go through the targets. So, like, they will hit multiple targets when you throw them. Uh, so, yeah, they're pretty damn effective. They also only cost one Spirit Emblem to use, which makes them more cost-effective. Because, like, the Phantom, the Phantom Kunai, as you saw, like, the butterflies can't be blocked. So it does good vitality damage, but it costs two spirit emblems per thing, and uh, you know the butterflies are slow. But this will—this uh, is my favorite Sharika. It's—it's it's pretty damn good. And as far as what we're gonna be doing next, at least next time, because I, I gotta take another break. I think I gotta cut this short. We're gonna go and we're gonna fight that thing that we saw, that monster. And in order to do that, we're going to want a lot of things. But yeah, uh, it's at a place called... What is it called? Do I just have to like go there? Flames of Hatred. It's called the Flames of Hatred. I guess I could give it an attempt or two. But basically, yeah. See him dunking on some interior ministry guys. And, uh, you can run up and bes get bestowal from them if you want to. For now, let's use an Akko Sugar. And Divine Confetti will help. No mercy, no mercy. Huh. 
His left arm is made entirely of like magical flame. Now. <laughs> uh, nice to see someone else get dunked on. But yeah, uh, I'm probably going to have to take a break before I actually fight him, like, super duper duper seriously. Because um, I am parched, like... I've actually been recording for a few hours in a row now. But we'll give it one more go, because why not? Yeah. Since we did all the eavesdropping, uh, Wolf actually recognizes him as the sculptor. I used to be really, really good at this guy. Like, I prided myself on not, not taking that many uh, tries to kill him. As you can see, he's got the three health bars. And each phase, he's only going to get more and more difficult. And Divine Confetti really helps. But we're pretty much out of that anyway, so... He's going to have to uh, roll with the punches here.
remember exactly what he decides to start doing in this form. Now. This fight is why I like the Umbrella. But we need to save some Spirit Emblems. Because, um... We're gonna need to use the... Uh... Mouth Tint's Finger. And it takes a lot of Spirit Emblems to use. This is the kind of boss that you may have wanted to save your Jizo statues for. Now. Also, Al. Oh, he picked me up. I'm... Oops. I thought he picked me up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's break time. <laughs> these last couple of videos are just going to be me getting absolute, my shit absolutely rocked by these bosses. Uh, but yeah, he actually, he counts as an apparition-style enemy. So, Divine Confetti, um, it's not a must, but it really helps. Uh, but yeah, so. We'll come back to this. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Alex Survivor. Like and subscribe if you like. And uh, stay safe and have a good day.